When my roommate comes into the room looking for his car keys, I don't say it yet. And when he gets me off the couch to check underneath the couch cushions, I don't say it yet. No. And then when he says out loud, I wonder where my car keys are, I still don't say it. I still don't say it yet. <laughs> but then he asks me, do you know where my car keys are? I look at him in his face and I say, have you checked your bottles? <laughs> But a funny thing to say to someone who's lost their shit and is stressed out visibly When I see the best man start to sweat I don't say it yet When I see that little ring bearer cunt getting yelled at by his mum Oh, I still don't say it when I see the groom asking the vicar if they can wait just another 15 minutes, I do not say it. And when the father of the bride starts organising an ad hoc emu bob of the courtyard area, I want to, but I do not say it. It's the 11th hour with 300 congregants <laughs> under God's roof. The vicar approaches the mic and suddenly all of the chatter goes mute. He says that they've misplaced the rings. Could anyone possibly know where they are? I know it's my time and all heads turn as I stand and say, Vicar, have you checked your butt hole? <laughs> <laughs> I lost my loan. I'm losing my patience. Where is your class? I just lost my grandma. Oh my god, I'm Dave so dying. sorry. Are you capable of not saying she's up my ass? Of course. Mike and Dolan. I'm not looking for a silly joke right now. Yeah, yeah. What are you looking for? Honestly, just like a shoulder to crack. Have you changed your mind? <laughs> Oh my god, I love yeah. that so much. Oh, that was great. Guys, god. serious question. Have you checked that. your butthole? Uh, uh, I have checked my b-hole and there's nothing but badness up there. Yeah, there's you don't want to go up there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if, if I lost something up there, it's gone for yeah. good because I'm not digging anything out of there, man. You know, have, have has anybody ever gotten a colonoscopy here? Mm. I have uh, not. Nope. No, you? No. <laughs> Oh. No, remember, oh, Mug won't let anyone near his ass. Yeah, that's <coughs> right. Any, I won't let anybody check my prostate. I forgot. Unless, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. Unless your name is Sheila. <laughs> you know. uh, it's funny. And Dave, I don't know why. What would you have against that song? Dave sent that link, or uh, I guess somebody, <clears throat> somebody, uh, a listener sent it, right? And then, uh, uh, yeah, Jankster Mike. And Dave was like, oh, yeah, you might want to edit the intro or something. I was like, I, I listened to it. I was like, oh, man, this is all complete gold for me. I yeah. love that song. Dave is <laughs> dying. You okay, Dave? Dave is dying. What is happening? Oh, my God. I don't know. I drank this fucking ginger drink, and now I can't get to my breath. You <laughs> you drink all these weird <clears throat> green concoctions and hipster drinks. Just drink some regular wa suja. You're drinking suja. What the heck is suja? Yeah. How much was that, Dave? Is that like a $5 uh, bottle of suja? <laughs> no, I got this at Costco, and it was like uh, 15 bucks for like an eight-pack or something like that. So it wasn't too bad. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. But, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Just when you thought you can attack Dave's uh, spending habits, he comes right back. <laughs> okay. I fucking love Costco, man. Don't you guys – don't you, aren't you Costco head? Oh, I hate Costco with a passion. What? Oh, yeah. Pa like, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into it because okay. I'll, I'll, I'll hate Omar. Costco could suck it. Why? I want to know now. You uh, can't leave us hey, unless we save this for another time. Okay, we can save it for, save another, it for another time. time. We can save it for yeah. another time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, a... I want to make this a thing with Omar and, and oh, get other sure. people's opinions. Okay, on it. yeah. I hate How Costco with a passion, and my wife. I just. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Yeah, uh, yeah we'll get into it. Um, how you guys been? You know. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Oof. Okay. All right. All trying right. to get trying to get new sleep with the. Working with the Ann Klein show. Yeah, yeah. You know, a little, a little tough. Uh, 
Well, and you I, got a little more, little more on your plate. Did someone leave or something? Got a little more on my plate, a little more on my bush, a little more on my face. <laughs> yeah. 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 More gray hairs everywhere. Uh, yeah. Hey, I want to tell you guys about an interesting uh, uh, experience that I had because on the Ann Klein show, they have been talking about all the used cars uh, selling for way above like the Kelly Blue Book value. Yes. Like if you put a car up, you're going to get more than it's really worth because there's a there's a car <clears throat> shortage. And I right. was thinking, oh, man, uh, I have a Honda Civic t- a 2013, and I have 190,000 miles on it. So it's got some miles on it. Um, the interior is super clean, and mm-hmm. the exterior is pretty clean, except for one minor scratch. Remember when uh, uh, it, somebody hit me in the parking lot of, of K-Rock, guys? Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we we man's guys, right? Or yeah, the taco, the, the yeah, his taco place. Chronic tacos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chronic Thanks tacos. A lot, we yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, Thanks a right. lot for hitting Omar's car. <laughs> yeah, but your your tacos were. And we got the video of it too, right? Yeah. Now, no, now, now nowadays, for some reason, you're peaking. You're peaking now. So you're peaking <laughs> before before the recording session. We're like, Dave, you gotta have to turn it up. But now you're peaking. You're peaking so. like some really good. Okay. Exercise. Check now, one me, two. Check one two. Uh, turn it down check. just a slight, a little bit more, and then you'll be little check all. Oh, there you go. There you balls, go. Balls, balls, uh, balls. Yeah, just to make clear, Perfect. Wee Man wasn't Wee Man wasn't driving the car. That no, he, no, that no, 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 no. It was no, no, people. No, so it was, it was the people make, at his work. It was it was some crazy chick. Okay, and she hit me. And there's video evidence of her uh, <laughs> looking and going like doing like oh my god. And hop, <laughs> she just hopped in her car and drove away. <laughs> like what what the heck is happening, right? And <laughs> leaving uh, in, leaving of insurance information 101. Yeah, what so, not to do. Did you guys ever hear? <laughs> <laughs> that we man contacted me about a year later because that l- girl was legit crazy and he needed <clears throat> video evidence the video that security pulled from k rock <laughs> so, so i could prove that she she hit my car uh in a case in a court case against her because she was accusing we man about doing all this crazy craziness yeah so she was legit wow. just crazy a yeah, bad person bad person so you're like so you're like, Wee Man, uh, I'll take a life, uh, maybe a year supply of chronic tacos, <laughs> and uh, let me st- let me star in Jackass Forever. How yeah. about that? No, nah, man, Wee Man has brought me <laughs> such joy. It was yeah, my pleasure to provide him uh, with the video evidence that he needed. But, Wee Man's awesome. So, so that's the only cosmetic thing that my car really had, and the engine was tip-top, and I'm a guy who always keeps up with the maintenance. So I started doing my little research, and I'm thinking, Kelly Blue Book says, I'll probably get it between four and five thousand dollars i was like oh, okay cool let me see what these kind of cars are going for on and this is a honda civic <clears throat> ex so it's not the bottom one it's like Ooh. the middle one right oh i thought that was like the high one no the no ex. it's 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 the middle one and the high one is the sex yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'll give you that one yeah no that's not that's not a not, no fly on your head yeah yeah, yeah. No, 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 no so no. so so you know then, what i meant so uh, I do the research and, uh, you know, these cars are going for like $6,500, $7,000. And if you go to a dealership website, my car with that many miles on it is going for close to $10,000, guys. And that so there's is the- how much over Blue Book? It, it's it's the blue book value uh, was about four thousand between four and five thousand wow. so double dude so you're making six yeah you're so making a, a so double, you yeah, went the dropped dealer. it off and no no biggie huh like so, yeah give me my money no so no money so 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 I was like okay cool so uh, I get it detailed on Sunday morning the detailer takes about three and a half to four hours to detail I take pictures. I posted on OfferUp and Craigslist. By the way, did you guys know that now Craigslist uh, and OfferUp, they charge five bucks to post uh, car listings? Of course, Only do. car listings. Yeah, only car listings. Everything else is free. Oh. But when I sold my Yaris mugs uh, years ago, this is probably over 10 years ago, it was free back in the day to po- even post a car listing, but now it's five bucks. So I post it around uh, one o'clock or so, or maybe maybe noon. The car was freaking sold by 2 p.m. Wow. What? And I put it up for 6500 I thought I was only going to get $4,000, and I put it wow. up for 6500 bucks. The guy came down, and he pointed out a couple. You should have gone eight, Omar. I should have. You should have gone two below I, or, like, wait, even wait, one wait, below wait. the dealer. If they're offering 10000 at the dealership, why don't you go to the dealership? 
No, 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 no. That, that's, no that's what, what they're the dealership selling. was selling it for. Oh, right. so the dealership's got it, got it, got it. Dealership would maybe maybe give you five or six for it. Absolutely. But Omar, you should have done private party like eight or nine. You know, just to undercut the dealership a little bit. Yeah, maybe, made a little maybe, bit more. But I, I wanted it to but be you don't fair. Need it. Yeah, you, have, yeah. you have 17 properties. <laughs> I <wanted> yeah, Omar. <laughs> Omar doesn't need the money. <laughs> I, I wanted it to be fair. And there was uh, one issue with the car, and it was a sensor issue. So I took that into consideration. But the guy was, you know, super happy, and he, he took the car. So then I was in the market for a new car. And I love the Civic. Yeah, I'm not a very fancy schmancy guy. I need a commuter car, reliable car, and I've had pretty good luck with civics and the resale value on a civic is insane so i call up uh, my boy uh, or our boy george, george carthen he's like hey dude do you have a hookup at a uh, honda and he's just like yeah you know I'm gonna, I, I still have the hookup that's where i got this honda and i got my wife's crv head down there and i'm gonna splurge on this one i'm gonna get the top Ooh. tier honda yeah i want to get Not all the-, the ex fuck you ex right no more <laughs> because the Honda 22, another you know reason I decided to sell it right now is because the new Honda just came out with the new model. So this is the 2022 <clears throat> with all the new fancy schmancy uh, safety features, and it's got a cool like touch screen on the dashboard. So it's is very... it electric or no or no no? no this is gas, gas ah, dude. Uh, uh. F, F electric cars, dude. F your Prius. <laughs> like I said before, and I'll say it again. <laughs> I want to leave the biggest carbon footprint on this okay. planet. DJ yeah. Omar Khan was here. Here, f you hippies uh, <laughs> so so yeah. so uh i you know and i get a little bit of a discount and man l- listen i get a little bit of a discount but the sales guy do you ever have you guys ever bought a new car and felt good walking away from the dealership or do you always yeah. really i only bought one car in my life my prius and oh, i really? walked away pretty good yeah with, at hamer yeah all right i it's, do feel good Om- i do feel good omar when yeah. i walk away but it's me tricking myself into feeling good really no yeah. remember <laughs> mugs bought his car then it became a lemon and he had a I can guy write a yeah. book <laughs> on what not to do when it comes to financing cars oh every buy a challenger you- one one and well <laughs> you're, you're not even you're, you're half correct dave because it's not challenger singular it's oh, challengers right. <laughs> plural oh my God. because i would i would get out i would get out of my my deal like in the middle or like a year or you know or too early <laughs> and i'd be, and then i'd go into the next car upside down like a, like what who stupid shit yeah Let me don't take you. advice from mugs all right no well, let's take so, advice yeah. from the good guy the <laughs> yeah. good person yeah so i'm sitting so, over here I'm, I'm over here sitting. You should have gone to the dealership. Blah blah blah. Yeah. I, I shouldn't be talking <laughs> yeah. during this segment. To be just, with you. you know, and, and so I'm not talking about the financing part of it because the financing, the money part of it, I have a really good handle on the financing part. I had I had a pretty good down payment. I knew what my uh, my new car payment was. Uh, I'm sorry, I had a pretty good down payment and I knew what my car payment was going to be. But you know the process of them selling you the uh, extended warranty and then making you feel like, hey, dude, you're a dumbass if you don't get this warranty because this is an electronic. It's got a bunch of electronic things and things could go wrong with it. And uh, like in my head, I want to say, what are you doing? Sorry about the phone, guys. It's all good. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. They're I calling really, you yeah. right now to be like, hey, you talking shit about us? <laughs> Bro. Yeah. No. Uh, well, hold on, oh, hold on. Before you continue, yeah. then to say this is I got the, you know, I got my 2013 Prius, right? And right. I got the extended warranty because I was texting with my brothers and they're like, yes, get it, you idiot, because you suck at taking care of cars. And I was like, good point. So I will. Oh, and it did okay. come through for me. Now, I know like – Wait, wait, wait. How, wait, of, wait, wait, wait. It came through with you in what respect? How did it come through with you? In the or in the respect you. where the light came on and I said, I'm just – I don't know what that light means. Right. It says service. I'm going right to the dealership. It was taken care of. I'm out. Okay. You know uh, what how I mean? Much, like, how much did you pay for that extended warranty, Dave? I don't know. A couple couple of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? That service car. Worth it. No, absolutely not worth it, Dave. Yes. Not worth it because I take care of my vehicle and then why? Because you just got shafted, Dave. If you were to go to a local mechanic, they would have been been able to diagnose the issue and maybe it would have been a couple of hundred dollars. It all depends because all they do now, Dave, all Dave, all they do now is they have a little computer thing and they hook it up. Yeah. Mugs, go answer that phone. (laughs) 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 <laughs> um, now they're calling me to be like, ha ha, <laughs> idiot, we got you. <laughs> so, 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 so in your head, Dave, because you paid, you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars, you think because it's, it, 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 you just had to go to the dealership and drop it off. You could have just gone to a local mechanic. 
No, because listen, for, for me, it was oil changes and then like service A, more oil changes, service B, you know, the, the extended warranty was, I think, like three years. So the, the whole, it paid it off like in, was it six, seven years or something like that? Well, yeah, you paid it off. Right, was, right, right, yeah, right, right, right. And, and then, and then the, the, the warranty extended that. Right. And it was perfect for me because look, oh, I'm not the guy who's going to go, hey, you know, I don't know what the service, you know, what this needs. Oh, no, change. I'm going to go find a guy. No, I want to go to this spot, this spot only, and that's it. Yeah, I'm but done. I have a guy. Off. I have a guy that I go to. I take all my cars to him, you know, now, I don't, but I don't have to worry about it. And I take care of my vehicles. I'm meticulous about keeping up with the maintenance and stuff because I, I have a long commute. So I want to make sure I have a reliable car. So I which guess a Civic is, we're, which we're, is yeah, Civic is. I, so I guess yeah. we're different that way. But there's no way I'm going to pay, yeah. you know, two thousand bucks for the extended warranty and the maintenance program. Let me ask you this, Dave and Mugs. Do you guys yes. know what'd you end up getting, Omar? A Honda Civic. Well, what, what, which level? Uh, which level? Uh, it was the SEX, <laughs> Mugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Boy. It was. It was a Honda Civic uh, 2022 Touring. It was, uh, yeah, it has Very like nice. the, the, the bow system and all that. Yeah. It, it's, oh, it's, yeah. It's, it's pretty spiffy. Damn. Um, You're a DJ. So, you have to have the yeah, bow exactly. system. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, do you guys know what gap insurance is? Yes. It's a, yeah, it's a scam. It's a brick scam. No, 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 no. no, it's not, no. Did you no. get it? Omar, is that gap? <laughs> no. Here I go again, trying uh, to give you advice. Listen, of okay. course I didn't get the stupid gap insurance because I know what I'm doing, right? So, Dave, did you ever get gap insurance? Did they sucker you into that? Probably not because I any any just like in anything they're like do you want the, the this insurance I'm like nah no, no. <laughs> no yeah. so so but this guy was you know telling me this and he was like you know in a nice way kind of but but you should get it because like you know basically he was saying if you don't get it you're a dumbass you know and, and so that's the yeah. thing about when you're sitting down to purchase a car that I hate. So I think yeah. next time, guys, I'm just over it, and I'm just going to buy a car online. Do do my research and That's, just say blah, 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 and this is what I want yeah. because, yeah. the the listen, I did get a discount, but the amount of discount that I got was not worth the hassle that I went through. So I think next time, oh, yeah. guys, I'm definitely just going to buy a car online, especially knowing – I knew what I wanted. I knew what color I wanted and, and the model and all the features. So, you know, somebody else wasn't going to sell me on something else, you know? So that whole yeah. part of it, I just felt like, ah, oh, God, man. And he wouldn't let it go. <laughs> well, I think, I think I got a hack for, for myself, which, yeah. because I remember, uh, the guy wanted to sell me this, uh, this like, it was called like a Tucson orange or something. And it's like that hideous orange car. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude. Yeah. It's hideous. And until you see a black guy drive it, black guys. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm whoa, telling you, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, dude. Yeah. I am telling you, man, like, like, like there's, there, there's something about the, uh, like black people, black people being so cool that they could pull off like a weird, funky looking orange, man. Wow. We need to ask, we we need to ask our good good friend and black listener Anel absolutely. and contributor no absolutely. to contribute yeah totally about dude. that yeah that man. is hilarious uh, oh, wait well uh, listen uh, to put it kind of like into like further context like a black man could pull off a cool baby blue looking suit nobody else right. can you know what I mean right. because black goes with everything uh, have <laughs> you seen Dumb and Dumber. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Maybe I stand correctly. Well, okay, anyways. but you know what, Muggs? That's a good idea. We, we, I, I want to get Anel's opinion on this because, dude, I think <laughs> black people are just so cool. They could pull anything off, man. Even those yep. weird, uh, funky-looking color cars, man. They, they just, that's they racist. Can, it's not racist at all, Dave. How is that racist? <laughs> it's a positive stereotype, right, O? <laughs> yeah. It's a positive yeah. stereotype. I, yeah. I don't even think it's a stereotype. It's just my opinion. I don't know. Is, is that a stereotype <laughs> that black people could uh, no, drive it's all not. cars? It, no. I don't think no, it's a stereotype. Like, you can't. You can't. <laughs> I don't, I've never heard well, of it Yeah, I don't think it's a stereotype. I mean, yeah. That's just my opinion. I think like compliments, <laughs> any compliment can't really be a stereotype unless you call it a positive stereotype. But yeah, I don't right. Know. Okay, well, we'll, get, we'll get a nail on the horn and uh, <laughs> yeah. see, see if I'm truly just offending him and Simba. <laughs> <laughs> it's Simba. You know, but my hack won't be sure. My hack would be yeah. to, because uh, when they offered that, that, that hideous Tucson Orange, it would have been ten to $15,000 cheaper, right? Yeah. Oh, whoa. And, 
And yeah, it would have been like a lot cheaper discount. Yeah, and, but it's so. Oh, now you're ugly. calling black people cheap, Dave? Wow, <laughs> wow, <laughs> beer mug. Um, says the Jewish no, so, guy. So uh, you could, yes, yeah, says the Jewish guy. Great point. No, but you you could get these cars like like mugs, Challenger, or your Civic, in, in these awful like lime green, like bright colors that don't sell. <laughs> yeah, and then just wrap them. Oh yeah, oh, wrap them. Oh, and then hey. it's it's. Way cheaper. Dave oh. for the win. On it. Never even Dave thought of that. for the win. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, so, man. That's so that's amazing, that's my uh, auto auto tip. That's so go buy you know, a good color and just wrap it. And then ta-da. That's good, man. That that's is the good. first that is the first good piece of auto advice, let alone any advice that I've ever heard from you. <laughs> Thank you. Good, Listen, man. That's good. Don't Thank take you. I suck at autos. Like, don't don't take any auto advice. But that's just wrapping it up. So that's it's amazing. Bad. Yeah. So oh my god. Yeah. So next time, I think I'm just gonna buy it online, man, because just the hassle of going there and uh, yeah, it just wasn't yeah. wasn't worth it. But I got a, a beautiful new car and I'm super Congrats. happy with it. Thank you. Drive for, it in good health. With the exception, guys, and I know Dave has driven uh, one of these newer cars because uh, his wife Krista has a fancy schmancy uh, Benzo. And <laughs> oh Dave, yeah, we th- saw Dave roll up in that uh, yeah. to uh, to meet have lunch the other yeah, day. The lunch that I wasn't at. D- d- <laughs> <laughs> Dave. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that Benzo has all these new fancy schmancy safety features, right? Yeah, it has like the auto lane correct. It yeah. lets you. Uh, it gives you the alert when someone's getting too close to your car. Yeah. It has the 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 backup uh, rear camera. It yeah. tells you when you know it beeps and, and yeah. does all this shit when. Mugs, when have, have, have you ever have sleep you ever, mode? Sleep mode when Dave wants to take a nap. It's great. <laughs> it does. Mugs, yeah, you just go. <laughs> have you ever driven a car like that? Yeah, um, yeah, I have driven the craziest car I've ever driven, and I'll tell you, it's not like a Lamborghini. It's up there, mm-hmm. but it, this what, it, let alone not not only features inside, but like the perform. It was like it, it was pretty much a race car. It was okay. a it was BMW. a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> there no. are some pretty pretty intense Ford Fiestas out there though, but it was a BMW M5. It had like it felt like I was flying a fighter jet. Okay, it and, and it was it was all it was all automatic. It was. Right. Tectronic, yeah. Uh, you know, you can you can manually shift, paddle shift, yeah, or you know, any kind yeah, of mine any, has any that one too. Yeah, has paddle shifters. This thing was the coolest thing I've ever sat Let in. Let me but- ask you what your thoughts are though on all the safety features because I hate them with a passion. They everything is freaking yeah. you out because uh, so <laughs> I, when I got too close to this uh, car, it's like flashing yeah, break, 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 and I'm like, yeah. dude, like I, I know, like I, I'm Sometimes, looking at the car, so, and then it's bleeping and blopping and everything, like everything <laughs> is, and the the lane correction, the first time I I like I corrected oh, it, it freaks you, it out. freaked me out, I almost yeah. hit another car, yeah. I was just like, Sometimes what is happening? I- Turn Sometimes it off. Sometimes when I just turn it off. Yeah, when I drive uh, Mama Muggs' Prius, she has a like a like a 2017 oh, Prius. You can turn it yeah. off, Prius gang. The, you can turn <laughs> I, it off. I, you can turn yeah. the lane. Like I forgot it was like she has it all on. Cause right. Let's let's face it. I love her. She needs it. <laughs> yeah. She needs every safety feature there is. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> when you see all the janksters out there, if you see Mama Muggs on the road. Get the hell out of the way, <laughs> please, for your sake and hers. Thank you. So uh, I have to turn them all off because, you you know, you you go over like even when you make like or you, you, you slightly like say you're on the freeway and you get too close to the lane. It'll go. Boop, 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 boop. Yes. Or it's so the freaky, break, the, man. The one that's the worst. The one that's the worst is the braking feature where you're yes. like, you might like, oh it's my like, God. Break, and, you're yeah. like, and it's, it's like a loud siren. Yeah. You have to turn it, all that dude, off. That, that's, it, it's too that's much. Insane. It's too much. I just, it is too much. I can't get used to it, man. And, uh, do you turn it off, Dave? Do you turn all this stuff off in, in the, in the, I turned off the lane control yours and, and the swerves, the swerve, because the swerve, it's just the lane too departure. Much. Yeah. yeah. Lane departure. That's and what then, they Yeah. The shoulder control or whatever that is. Cause like you'll be driving and it's all like, and it pushes you to the side. You're like, no, dude. Yeah. The, car, push me no car. the car yeah, is scary. able the car tells me and wherever I'm driving now what the speed yeah. limit is. Yeah. And it's so annoying, dude. Cause like yes, yeah. I know I'm driving over the speed limit. <laughs> Why do I need a constant reminder that I'm over the speed limit? I what, it's, what's it's, that about? It's pretty much it's crossing into Christine territory. Oh my god. You know, the or maximum overdrive. Like right. the cars are taking over. 
It's just like it. super annoying, man. So I'm glad I had the car, but I'm going to have to. I didn't know you could turn all that stuff off. I thought I just, oh, yeah. you can I just turn had it to live off. with it. Okay, yeah. So I just you had the car. You should read the manual. That, that helps. I got to read the manual. And then you know what else <laughs> I hate, guys? And I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I guess it's supposed to improve the fuel economy. But when the car stops... It will shut down. It turns off. It turns off. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, wait, what the heck? Yeah. And, then, and then when you can turn that off too. Yeah, I, I figure that one out because that one's probably the most annoying thing of all. Because ignition kill. It's yes. like it's, it's an idle like. And by the way, kill. isn't that going to destroy your engine a little faster than not having it than having it engaged? Don't I you don't think? know. That's a good. Qu- that's a really good question, Omar. Now that you asked that, I didn't yeah. think of that because, like, yeah, it's bet you'd think it's just be you know once you turn your engine over, yeah, it, however long you're driving, it's just keeping it on is the best thing for it, right? But to constantly come to a red light, yeah. especially in L.A., stop oh and go traffic God. on and off, unless they have like the technology that they built to like, uh, you know, prevent anything from happening or. They just want you to buy cars quicker. Yeah, see? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that. Way. I'm guessing the latter, dude. I think it's, it, it's big uh, auto. Cars. A big auto. It's big, big auto. auto. It's big, big auto, auto man. Yeah, big dude. auto. Yeah. So, big auto parts. Omar, I, like, Omar, I like that story. Uh, Omar, yeah. what color? Oh, wait, I didn't ask this. What color was the Prius it's, that you got? It's, or the, it's, the Civic that you got? Baby like, blue. Um, He's no. pissed. <laughs> I can't pull it off. Damn it. I'm going to get a wrap, oh. dude. I'm going to get a wrap. No. It was like a, it, it's called like metallic moon or some something Ooh. like that. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. silver. It's like silver. It's basically silver. Thank you. It's silver. It's silver. Yeah, it's basically silver. Yeah. But but this is Silver's the first the car, color. guys. I, I looked looked at the beautiful car, and I think I'm going to get – I've never do this. I'm not a car guy, but I'm going to splurge again, and I think I'm going to get the windows tinted because I think the car will look really yeah. cool. Ooh. Really Not cool. Not only will it look tinted, cool, yeah. it's fun. It's really functional. It, yeah. In the summer, it, having tinted windows is so much better than not having them. Really? It, like when the sun is beating, like if your kids are in the back and you're yeah. like on the freeway and the sun's at twelve, you know, at yeah. twelve noon, high noon, you know, like it, get the tint. Yeah. So ring, 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 that, ring, so. ring, 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 ring. Is that our is that our tint company that's going to sponsor yeah, who's us? Who's on the phone? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, did you get it lowered, oh, Omar? Hey, do you need some rims? <laughs> I can hook you up with that. Huh? Hey, Lightning. I get you some tires, bro. Hey, 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 Lightning, let's put, hey, Omar, let's put a Banks diesel in your in your Civic, man, right? Just, just make sure you're not washing it with stupid water that comes out of your hose. You know, you need yeah. that idolized water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no. I can taste it and tell the difference. So, uh, yeah, man. No, Lightning, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to get the tint and that's it. I, I'm good. I'm not that much of a car guy. I'm just going to get the Do tint. Do you need some NOS? I no, saw no, some NOS. No, uh, no, I, I could get you some NOS. Uh, get some spoilers I'm not, I'm not and, a, and, a big, and a big muffler. No. No, no, no. What do you need, man? I don't want to be in Fast and Furious 10. I don't want to. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not one of one of the Vin Diesel ah, guys. You're boring. I'm out of here. See you, Lightning. Wow. That was good. Uh, we had Lightning that good, and stuff by. That was awesome. I <laughs> well, love it. It's funny because Dave took the reins on that, and then I interjected with some of my Lightning. But then, yeah, that was Dave. Yeah, good, job, Dave. good, 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 good. Man, Dave froze. A, Dave, did Dave froze. froze. Dave, uh, he didn't try. He does this. Where, where? Oh, he's oh, there back. He is. He's back. He's back. Guess who's back? Oh. Can you hear us, Dave? He can't. Oh, uh, no, Something he's got he's got to redial. He's got to redial really quick. Uh That's what happened. Oh, wait, let's see. Okay, no, he's going <clears> to <throat> have to redial here. I think that was possibly on my end here. Was it? Just wait. Yeah, I don't know. Let's should see. we all reset? No. We should be good cuz uh, we're we're uh we're recording. Excuse me. Zenku chicken right there. Uh, you back? Oh wait, hold on. There he is. You back? Yo. Okay, cool. Was that me or? Uh, I don't oh. know. I'm not sure. Could yeah, have been you. Could have been Whoop. me. I'm a four. I'm a <laughs> Did you freeze too, or was it just me? Uh, mugs is fine. It was just you. Oh, okay. So I'm not. But I'm not. I'm not sure. Did uh, I get the last lightning in? Have me going bye. Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, man. You, you, hold on. All right, ready? Oh. You ready, Muggs? Are you just gonna listen to Walking in LA? You know. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Uh, uh, all right, go. Dave, uh, I'm gonna leave all that in just because you were just <laughs> not paying attention. I love that. Um, uh, my, uh, Mr. Sanchez, uh, you had yeah. some sort of ordeal happen when you were on vacation. Yeah, well, you guys, as you know, uh, I went to Colorado for a week and uh, during the 4th of July weekend, and it was my first time flying, you know, since oh, the pandemic, right? right. And I, 
I don't know why people want to do this again. Like, it was such an ordeal. First of all, <laughs> this is the first time I'm flying, right? This is the, sec the first time I'm flying with my dog. So I get to the airport at LAX at like 5 o'clock. I'm sorry, at like 4.30. My flight's at 6. It took me about an hour to get through security. Oh, and okay. Through, through to check my dog in and do all this. There was so lines for, and it's just not just the line I was in. The line just to drop off your bags, and this is like four o'clock in the morning. Right. And I'm thinking, oh. what the hell's going on? So we get through. I have clear, so I, I go and get through the line, walk up to my gate, <laughs> closed. I'm oh, sorry, uh, you missed it by two minutes. I was like, are Ooh. you fucking kidding me? So luckily, they hooked me up with the next flight, got out, made their clinic flight. Yeah. Coming back, we get there way earlier, going, you know, to Grand Junction Airport, <laughs> easy peasy, waiting for or waiting for the, the plane two hours, and we start seeing the time go up. Delayed. Click, 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 click. Oh, delayed, man. delayed, delayed. And mind you, I have a connecting flight in Salt Lake. Right. So, so it gets to about, you know, an hour later, a, a delayed hour, right? I get on the plane and I'm like, I can still make it. Our, our connecting flight, you know, they're gonna they're gonna hurry up. They're gonna fly faster. So we we fly, we land, and they go, okay, well we made it in time, you know. And I go, all right, I have 20 minutes to get to my next flight. They're like, we're gonna wait on the tarmac because they have to get buses out to you and get you and drive you back to the terminal. So, oh, but dude. the luggage has to get placed first. So we're waiting another 10 minutes for that. So I missed that flight. I'm like, God damn it. Dude. And now we check our phones and we get alerts. Oh, Delta's like, don't worry about the missed flight. It was our fault. So we booked you for the next flight the next day. Oh, <laughs> dude. We're like, are you fucking kidding me? No. So then we become the amazing race where we're running around because every there's a couple of people <laughs> going to L.A., you know, in the L.A. <clears throat> area, going to Burbank, going to Ontario, going to Long Beach. Yeah. I'm like, fuck them all. I'm going to beat them. I've seen the amazing race. I got a cute <laughs> dog with me. Yeah. So I'm running with my dog. We're, we only have carry-ons. We don't even have luggage, dude. Just carry-ons. And we have to go and fight through these people, find the nearest agent. And luckily, I was able to get a flight into Burbank. Three hours later. Oh, so my God. I was supposed to have people over to watch the Conor McGregor fight. Everything was going to be, everything was planned. Yeah, I didn't get home till midnight. Oh, so, my God. Oh, so I don't know. You missed the entire fight, Dave? Well, no, not necessarily, because I flew over Vegas around 9.15. So, oh, and you're like, you know, hey, I can see so the I was like, hey, they're head. fighting down there. Yeah, I can see. I, can see, uh, I, I was like, I looked down. I'm like, oh, they're fighting there right now. So I wonder what's going on. Oh, dude, okay, I'm cool. sorry that happened to you, man. Uh, yeah. oh, dude. So hey, wait, why are people Dave, flying? Dave, you, you're telling yeah. me, though, at the end of everything that happened to you, all the, the cancellations and the postponements and the moving to the next day, you acted like a, a civilized person and didn't punch any any airline <laughs> staff or anybody no. working for the. Oh no! Luckily, you luckily should've. everyone. You gone viral. I know. I know. Luckily, everyone on my plane, you know, abided by the law, by the rules, and and everything. So so everyone was cool. So because also everybody had to like hurry the fuck up, and they're like. Let's let's board. There was people who were flying to Alaska, flying to like Georgia, and they're like, "We have to get this connecting flight." Wow. None, none of us made it. So, uh, everyone was being cool, and they're like, "All right, we're cool about it." And and the the I know Delta did the best they could, but yeah, I don't think I'll be flying there. Oh my god. So, that well, sucks. that sucks, Dave. That sucks. So you got? Did you get the results for the McGregor fight when you got home? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Social media told you, right? Of course. Of yeah, course. Yeah. That sucks. Omar, did you watch the fight? I did not. I did not. I just uh, all I know is that he broke his foot in somewhere in the first round, and yeah. he was uh, saying some something about hey uh, Portier or Portier or Porter, yeah. or whatever that dude's. Your yeah. wife slid into my DMs <laughs> yeah. or some something like yeah. that. So that's the thing. Like <clears throat> progressively, I wanted to ask you guys if, if you've heard of anything that he he's. You, you obviously heard that line, right? Yeah, that, that's, that that's was the at the end of the heard, fight, right? Yeah. Did you hear what he started doing, like, to continue it after the fight, what he started saying? No. no. There's more? Well, so after he said your wife slid into my DMs, there, somebody had a ringside uh, a ringside video, like their camera phone or whatever yeah. they were doing, of him tell, saying, hey, watch it when you sleep. I'm going to come kill you on the streets to Poirier. McGregor's saying this. <laughs> what? 
Yeah. Well, while he's getting like, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. like rolled out <laughs> on the gurney. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With his broken ass foot. So like he was saying, and you could, and, you, and, and it's funny because you can see, um, so he was, you know, right before Joe Rogan interviewed uh, uh, Poirier. Yeah. You could, you literally see if you watch the unedited, you know, the live pay per view, uh, you see uh, Poirier look at down at the ground, and presumably it was McGregor. Poirier's like, shut your bitch ass up. Oh no way! So somebody really? got yeah yeah yeah. So somebody got that. And then he did that. the walk, right? He did <laughs> yeah. the walk. Well, he too. did the walk. He did. Poirier literally did the walk after his hands were raised. Did he really? That was funny. Yeah, that is like, hilarious. He did it all, yeah, the he, McGregor he did it all kind of strut. The McGregor strut. Yeah, he did. Oh, but he did it like funny. all like, huh? I'm yeah. making, like, look at me, I'm Conor McGregor. You that's know, like funny. not like you know. Yeah. So like so anyway, so <laughs> McGregor's like sitting down with a broken with his broken tibia. You know, on the cage, <laughs> and and he's literally yelling at Poirier like, "Hey, about watch what you say. I'm gonna come kill you in your sleep. While, uh, out on the oh, we'll take man. this to the streets." So then, um, and it's like, in like at first, before going into this fight, like I didn't, <clears throat> I apparently, you know, people were like already against McGregor before before the fight even happened of like how you know he just talking smack, right. and I noticed it in the way in. He was like, "Oh, you're gonna go out here on a stretcher," which by the way. McGregor said that the Poirier and, and, and McGregor is the one guy who went yeah. out on the stretcher, by the way. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. That uh, uh, even after, you know, the D, the wife slides in my de- slides in my DMs and I'm going to kill you in your sleep on the street, he proceeded to go a little further. What? And the, what's Yes. It, no way. Yeah, so so uh, and I'm 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 going to get to the point slowly but surely, but I'm going to yeah, get there. Yeah. He went after <laughs> Suppose uh, allegedly because I haven't seen it, but I mean apparently because he deleted it, but it was caught like when it was posted. Yeah, he was going after his daughter, oh, Poirier's Poirier's like, daughter. Little now, like Dude. I said, allegedly. Now it, it's been reported on. It's been reported on. Now you know, like they say, you can't read everything on the internet and believe it to be even, true even, but even the 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 fact that he said i'm gonna go kill you we're gonna take this to the streets on is, the sleep is, is, yeah is that's far, crazy. too far but man. what did i wanted to ask what i wanted to ask you guys do you think because uh, dana white is already saying that there's going to be a fourth fight because of how it ended on a doctor stoppage mm-hmm. do you think this is just all mcgregor as a entertainment and he tells poria he's like before like this even happens before the trilogy even ha- happens he goes hey if there's any possibility of a rematch and i lose and you know he's gonna turn we up can the... continue this i gotta turn it up and i'm gonna yeah. say some shit just know that it, it i'm gonna say it but i'm not gonna mean it do you think that kind of shit happens oh and they're do both I, like do I, do I think that happens absolutely 100 yeah. do you think it's happening here because do you think it's happening here? uh because going after like come on mcgregor is a family man right right yeah but he has a kid yeah and and but, but but well he's a he's almost a billionaire but but still but you think he is that stupid to say that and mean it or just All not I really even mean it just to say it just to say it to here's promote what it. he's doing mugs and it's because he knows he lost he knows he was getting beat in the first round he was about to get finished and he knows if yeah. he says the most vile shit people are gonna want to see it and he's a, a smart guy fight. when it comes to yeah. promoting yeah. so the fourth fight. Do I think the fourth fight's gonna happen? No, because I don't. I don't think people are gonna want to pay for it again. I think he's gonna have to fight somebody else, and then if he wins, then he'll, he'll have fight to fight Poirier. Poirier. Because right. Poirier's like, I'm done with this bum, you know. Yeah. I, he, he needs Poirier needs to go fight for a championship, not waste yeah, time. He's, he's gonna go fight you know? Oliveira and, for and, the title. Yeah. Yeah, and Ronda Rousey even said like, uh, yeah, oh hey, what Connor, you know, don't pay mind to what Connor's saying. He's just promoting the fourth fight. But right. it's like he doesn't even deserve a fourth fight. You know, he's no. he's been losing. He he's lost what three out of the last four, and the, the only yeah. win he has is against Donald Cerrone, who is like, like not even in his weight class and. It, it, it's like like this dude's done now he's a journeyman who could sell a fight he's a nate diaz he's a nick diaz you know what i mean like like they're right. just fascinating to watch and yeah. and connor can he can knock people out so yeah. that's gonna be the that's that's his journey now is like all right sell the fight whoever you're fighting say weird shit like chael sonnen who sucked and then like would make the fights interesting because of the shit he would yeah. say yeah you good, know good smacks all over. right well in, in yeah, that case exactly exactly in that case in 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 better 
a better way to serve the Janky Town podcast. Omar, fuck Cassie and your daughters. Dave, fuck Dang. Krista. Wow. Wow. Fuck y'all. <laughs> All right. That's, that's how we're going to start. Damn, dude. All right. Oh, shit. I'll kill you in the streets while you sleep, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can get the Janky Town. That's a sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make your frown. Yeah, oh, man. Again. Damn, that was outrageous. Can I file a grievance? Would you like to take that back? But I'll pass pass the message along to my daughters. It's getting okay. Okay, good. It's getting Set it for set set it for November, November, whatever the first Saturday in November. All right. Set up. The fight. Janky. That's right. Thank you for tuning in to Janky Town. This is episode number 48. If you want to ever get at us via the email, the email address is jankytown69 at gmail.com. And as always, you can hit us up through this old school technology called a phone. And you can leave a what? message on it. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you dial this stuff and you can leave That's a crazy. It's called a voicemail. Stuff. Yeah, it's called a voicemail. Yeah, the number what? there is 855-Janky69 if you want to do that. And uh, yeah, People we love the People don't communicate via talking anymore? Yeah, what? they do. They do. And uh, oh, they what's, do. Our, what's our socials, Dave? <laughs> Dave, Dave, at Dave's Janky lost in the, in the intro. Nine. Okay. Oh man, uh, I, I think there was a, a little bit of a delay there. Del- de- delay, a yeah. little bit, just a I, little. I, just to pull the curtain back really quick. Yes. Fucking Spectrum, dude. Do they suck balls or what? I had the technician. Fuck Spectrum. I had the technician come out here. Ah, uh, they're dude. They're sucking right now. Oh my god, dude. And the guy comes out because we've ha- been having nothing but problems recording the show. And I want to tip top, so I, I last week I tried hardwiring it. That doesn't that doesn't help. Right now, guys, I'm showing zero stars. By the way, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, if it if if it weren't for the Dodgers, <laughs> I would I would literally take my Spectrum box in the backyard and piss on it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with another internet well, provider. Man, TV this is, oh, I got four stars, guys. I think we're back in business. Um, no, back. now I'm back to three. Now two, three. I'm okay. at four. So the guy, so the guy comes in and I'm he, at four. he does everything and. And he's just like, oh, I found this kind of issue. And I'm thinking, okay, uh, does that fix it? He's just like, yeah, it should. So I was like, okay, cool. So then I come and I (laughs) I, I, I dial the little um, uh, software up here. And it shows, oh, no internet. I was like, what? I thought the guy fixed everything. So I go up, guys. And he connected the Ethernet cables wrong upstairs to from the modem to my wireless router. Now, does that seem like a guy who knows what he's fucking doing? (laughs) What is happening, Omar? At Spectrum? I meant to put me, Omar. I meant to plug it into the right outlet. I couldn't see. It was dark. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just. I was. I was just flabbergasted. I was just like, "Are you kidding me?" Like that's like uh, you know, Internet 101. It just. It just blew yeah. my mind. So. Uh, so sometimes, you know, it's a little frustrating behind the scenes because, uh, you know, Dave gets a delay. Everybody gets a delay. But I am hardwired here. The When we're, we're on point, it's not that much of a delay. So everything's good. So, uh, yeah. But thank you anyway for tuning in to this wonderful program we call Janky Town. And I do want to start off with a couple of clips from, well, our new favorite person, I want to say. Right, guys? A legend. A legend. Yeah, Leg- he's a, he's a legend. In last episode, we discovered Superhuman T-shirt, or we thought he was a Superhuman oh, T-shirt. Oh, yes. It turns out uh, our janksters let us know that this is Superhuman superhuman TV show. Right, guys? Oh. So he was doing it for Superhuman TV show. Yeah, and he uh, uh, is... is if, we, you, if you just mm-hmm. look up Superhuman TV show, he's on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and all his videos are super interesting. That's his name. Uh, I, that's what he goes by. I don't know well, what no, his, his name is. Can, wait, hold on. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if I'm... Uh, I see a lag, so I don't know if I'm in the current mode you're or the, behind or whatnot. You're but, uh, the only... Your video is lagging, but we can hear your audio good. Well, Okay, fantastic. perfect. Who, who cares about my video? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's he goes by the name of Super... 
superhuman. And so what what he does, because he was featured on uh, Tosh.0 as a web redemption. And what he does is he says, welcome to the superhuman TV show. So it's not Uh, like he's calling himself the superhuman TV show. He's superhuman. Welcome to the superhuman TV show. It's his TV show. show. Got it. Fuck this shit. I've heard of that. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, dude. (laughs) It's uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, like Dave said, yeah, he was he was on Tosh.0 for a web redemption because when he was 17 years old, <laughs> he would do these lame ass uh, stunts where he was like legit, just like a foot off the ground, like, and he would jump onto a mattress, like a soft mattress that was on was, a bush. He like, was what like, is that stunt? <laughs> There's he no was stunt like, there. He was like. He was like whack ass, right? Yeah, yo, they're good. yeah, exactly. He was whack <laughs> ass. Yeah, he Holy was shit! Ass. Hey, Omar, yeah. Omar, before if it's not already taken when we're recording this, yeah. before you release this episode, I'm gonna have to get the Instagram handle. Yeah, yeah, whack ass is funny. Whack ass is whack funny. ass. Yeah, but so so as his career went on, he started doing more dangerous stunts and more dangerous stunts. So now he's like doing uh, front flips on barbed wire and light, light bulbs and hot wheels. Toys. Has, does it's Steve awesome. know about this guy? Uh, I'm assuming he does they because he's pretty. Something. He's pretty. Yeah. He's pretty well known, dude. He has like yeah, yeah. almost a hundred thousand followers, and he's followed by a lot of people, man. Uh, but I wanted to bring in a couple of clips, and Dave. I want to request from you. This is the only thing I've ever asked of you, I think, uh, during the whole recording time of Janky Town, is that I want to have Mr. Superhuman on this show, man. You think we can make that happen? Whoa. Dave I'll, could, I'll get him. Okay. Dave could put his producer skills back to work yeah, after a year and a half. Yeah, you know? So nah, put- they're a little... Oh, they're a little rusty. They're a little, <laughs> a little crusty and rusty. All right. But so, uh, let's hear some stuff. This Dave, is- Dave guess that's the superhuman TV show impersonator. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So uh. so here's superhuman when he was about 17. And uh, the, the one thing we forgot to mention about su- superhuman is that he's a big time juggalo. Whoa, whoa. Everything he does is Bats. all about the Juggalo, and it's for like the Juggalo community. As it, every, everything he does, he does it for the Juggalo. Woo, woo. Exactly. So here he is when he was like 17, <laughs> so and he's taking a bottle of uh, a can of Fago and smashing it on his head. <laughs> Let's listen to it. this. This is Superman 2 Show. Today I'm going to smash Fago on my head. This is for Juggalos and Juggalos. Woo, woo. What about you? <laughs> Let's have a good Fago. That's it? That's it. You guys have a good Fago. That's when he was 17, so his his stunts were a little lamer back then, okay? <coughs> so they, uh, so that was when he was 17. I think the guy's like 22, 23 years old right now. Here is where they get a little bit more intricate. This is Superhuman TV Show. Today I'll be jumping on to toy cars, light tubes, tack strips. This is for juggalos and juggalettes. Do not try this at home, and I hope you like it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck this, this shit. Whoa, whoa. Ah, fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck. I'm not fucking done yet. Whoa, whoa. He goes on another one. <laughs> He so always much. sounds, yeah. He always sounds like he's in the worst pain. Yeah, uh, the worst pain, dude. Uh, let's see what he's doing. He here. sounds like Frankie McDonald. <laughs> he does. He does a little bit. Yeah, he totally, totally does. He does the a, extreme anyway, Frankie McDonald. Yeah, is there a frame coming? Uh, superhuman. <laughs> this is Superhuman T-shirt. I just want to say I have my own motherfucking. Mer- oh, dude. Yeah, this is. Uh, he's got merch. Here he talks about his merch. Here you go. This is Superhuman T-shirt. I just want to say I have my own motherfucking merch at theindiconnection.com. I got Superhuman training cards. I got this Superhuman plush dog. You can fucking eat it. Give it to your dog. Punch it out. <laughs> Fuck this shit, motherfucker. Oh, and he gets hit by a door. <laughs> <laughs> Everything so stupid. is so painful, man. And uh, okay, here's a little last clip. And uh, let's Who see wants his trading cards, by the way? I do. Are you kidding me? I want everything this guy is selling, dude. I, I need a superhuman t-shirt. I need a little toy action figure, and I need the trading cards. All right, this is the last clip. Let's see what he does. This is Superhuman TV Show, and today I'll be doing a full flip onto gusset plates, chase grayer, barbed wire chairs. This is for a juggle- Okay, so 
Joseph plates. Some plates. A cheese grater. Uh, cheese graters, okay. Barbed wire chairs. And barbed wire and chairs. It's insane. This is for juggalos and juggalettes. Do not try this at home, and I hope you like it. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah. He's pumping himself yeah. up, dude. He takes off yeah. his shirt. Fuck, Fuck <laughs> this <laughs> shit. Whoop, whoop. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just oh my god, just the audio alone oh is my god. like oh. amazing. Yeah, you guys amazing. know who's filming him? Uh, who's filming oh, him? His mom. Oh my! His mom. His mom him? and his dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. God, his parents dude. are helping him out with every single video. Super. The guy who was shooting show. the fireworks at him. Yeah. His dad. No way! Oh, dude, that's the best, dude. Yeah, I love that it's a family ordeal. It makes it even worse. I mean, better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so Dave, please, 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 if you can, let's get Superhuman on. And I think he could be like a regular guy, man. And he's always like super positive about, you know, his stunts and stuff on the little interviews <laughs> that I see, man. And if I'm not mistaken, oh. uh, on his Instagram, he recently got to do his first... Uh, he really loves like the WWE and stuff, so he did like a fight like that with a off-brand uh, wrestling federation. So awesome. we, we could talk to him. About it was that. a Juggalo wrestling. Oh, uh, is that what it was? It was a Juggalo wrestling. Oh yeah. Event, yeah. So I'm super geeked about this guy, dude. I definitely want to get him on the show, dude. He was just super insane. So <laughs> f this shit. Uh, shit. I could cuss right now because my kids left. They went to dance class, so that's why I'm cussing now. Just uh, <laughs> uh, so. All right, what do we got next, guys? On the on the dais, we got some fast stories about fast food. Ooh, yeah. It's a new David. segment, and yeah, yeah. So here's here's my intro, right? Oh, you guys yeah. ready for this? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. yeah. Alright. So fast stories about fast food. 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 Fast, fast, fast. You got a fly on your head. <laughs> uh, we could send that one back to the lab, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, listen, that, that was the. That, that that was uh that was, that was the first attempt. All right, I, all right. I just thought about it right now. Okay, so, uh, right. <laughs> yeah, so I guess this segment is uh we're gonna talk really quick about these these fast food stories, right? So let us right. just just get into it. Okay. Guys, what's your favorite what, what's your favorite chicken like nugget? Joking out. Uh, what's my favorite uh, chicken nugget, Dave? Is that what you're saying? You got to say, yeah, your your audio is all stroking out. It sounds like you're stroking. Out. I think I think you're good now. Oh, well, oh I, man, I, this I sucks. should laugh at strokes. I'm gonna record. <laughs> I know it's frustrating, huh? I know. We gotta keep keep it positive, Dave. Keep it positive. Keep it positive, Dave. You right. want me to take over the fast food? Uh, the fast All right, food? I'm at four stars. I'm at four okay. stars. Come on. I'll do the intro again if you I need have, me to, I Dave. Have, I have, oh, well, I'm back to five. I literally had zero stars. Now I'm back to five, so. I don't know how this works. Uh, okay, so it's not me. It's you. Great. Uh, yeah, oh, probably. Yeah, it's Spectrum, to be honest with you. Fuck them. We need to find a place. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's my favorite right. chicken nugget? Well, let me let me try this again. All right. Fast call. Nope. I'm just kidding. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Chicken nugget. Chicken nugget. Chicken nugget. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. What's your favorite chicken nugget? Oh, uh, Chick Fil A. I second that, Omar. They're super good. Chick Fil A mugs. Yeah. I second Omar. Well. Well, you you better get ready because Popeye's chicken is getting into the chicken nugget game. Ooh, they'll be yeah, good. Uh, the starting on again. July 27th in the U.S. and Canada, the new nuggets are going to be available, <clears throat> and they only come in four pieces to 36 pieces. Oh, so wow. they <laughs> are ready for you. Nice, and, nice. Yeah, and you know how good they're – like, do you like their chicken just by, by themselves? 
Because to me, the chicken sandwich is, is, is what's, what it's about. I had their chicken, and it was okay. Yeah, their chicken's okay. But the okay. chicken sandwich was, like, amazing. Their chicken sandwich is yeah. head and shoulders so, above everybody else's chicken sandwich, bar none. Uh, their chicken sandwich is okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Agree. Yeah, so I, I wonder how, how these are going to taste and if they're going to give McDonald's a, a run for their money. Because for me, nothing tops McDonald's. Chick-fil-A could eat a dick. What? Like they, oh, they, uh, no way. they suck. Oh. Th- those nuggets are terrible compared to McDonald's. So um, McDonald's has fries oh, and nugs. Man. And then you nugs got that little, all, that little uh, Polynesian people- sauce. Oh, so good. Oh, okay, the see, there you go. The it's the sauces. No, no. Yes, I like the you like it because of the sauces. No, no even by no. the quality, you of the like it because good. of the sauces. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm dying. Oh, yeah. I drank yeah, some of Dave's suja. <laughs> I, I drank some suja. <laughs> All right. All right, man. Uh, speak, speaking of chicken, you guys know how much I love Panda Express. Oh, yeah, I know. You guys, so they yeah. just an- they just announced that they will. At select locations in New York and Southern California, starting on July 26th, they are going to be offering Beyond Meat Orange Chicken. Oh, What do you guys think about that? Well, Anything- I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> Anything beyond. <laughs> and listen, I've tried a Beyond Burger. I've tried a Beyond Taco. It's just not there yet. I can't imagine this is going to taste good. It's not there yet. It's yeah. almost there. Yeah. It's almost there. It's, it's, but, but yeah. like I've had. Except, <clears throat> I have to say. But the only, I mean, there are good sit down vegan restaurants where the meats and the chickens and whatever you're eating, that's supposed to be, they call it, you know, by the animal in there, but they're not, they're good. If you, Mm -hmm. if you go to the right, like, uh, crossroads, I'm, I'm name dropping a hot spot in, uh, West Hollywood Uh crossroads kitchen. Oh, isn't that uh, Travis Barker's place? Yeah. Yeah. I have been there, Dave. I have, I have, I have. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Why could yeah. why could I like yeah, is why? there a list to get in, Dave? Right. What, what, what's so yeah, unbelievable it's just a restaurant. about restaurant? It's just a restaurant. <laughs> because I don't believe Jonathan Cantro is going to a vegan restaurant. I went to I went there. I swear to God I went there. Because it was Travis Parker's restaurant, but prove it. But prove but I wanted it. to try it out. I wanted to see yeah. what the vegan I could see mugs going there because the reason it's Travis's I, okay, restaurant. Wh- no, it wasn't even. It wasn't even because there was Travis's restaurant. I was trying to be funny. My uh, the uh, the lady that took care of my daughter for many years was vegetarian. Was vegan. Mm. Sorry, vegan. And we went. I went there. We went there. So I buy it, Dave. You let your daughter near a vegan dude? Come on. <sighs> All right, you rescued yourself after that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're getting back to it. But uh, my point <clears throat> being is, Panda. Express is so good that I bet this fucking Panda Express orange It'll chicken be Beyond Meat is going to be amazing, and it's going to bring so many more people to realize how amazing Panda Express is, and then be on my level and enjoy nice orange chicken. And I can't wait to try it because I want to do a side by side taste test and see see which one's different. I mean, I'm always going to go with the regular chicken, but yeah. Uh. Did you prepare at all, Dave? <laughs> like, what, uh, what happened there? You hear me? <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's the connection. Wow. No, no, I hear you now. No, no, he's, no not, he's not talking. He's you not. Fuck, you're, you're lying. You're a lying sack. He's I talk. see you Who's moving. Lying now? Yeah, you're lying, dude. He's lying. What are you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, you, you're lying you sack of shit. You yeah. fake no. froze on yeah, your screen. You no, no, no. Yeah. You totally did. You were you just went like no, this. no, guys. My the I the IP DTL just jumped from twenty four to Hey guys, 25. look, I'm frozen. I mean twenty four to twenty nine. Hey Omar, look, Minutes. I'm frozen. No, honestly, <laughs> look, I'm at zero stars right now. I don't know <laughs> if you could see that. I like can do you that said, too, Dave. Video has been I can pretend laggy, I'm frozen. But wait, Dave, I've been doing this Zoom shit for a year. I know all the tricks. <laughs> are you? At no, honestly, I'm are at, you, are you at zero? zero stars right now. I wonder. You're at zero. It, it's got to be spectrum. I'm at five, dude. Dave. I'm at five. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm at zero right now. I'm going to have to change my internet. Yeah, I'm at zero. I'm at zero. I'm at zero, and and I'm at full bars with IPDTL. So, and, and like, uh, the the audio is not matching with the video. So, don't pay attention to the video. I'm getting a little thrown here, and sometimes I'm in the Don't watch the video. Don't watch the video. I'm not. I'm not. I am not. 
but I'm happy. <laughs> okay. Don't right. really settle it's down. Dude. I have to hear the lag. Down, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not goddamn hey, motherfucker. <laughs> when I talk, you better be fucking listening. <laughs> you sons of bitches. <sighs> okay. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Wow. This is this might be the jankiest episode yet. Wow. Yeah, I didn't want to do this. Talk this about crazy. going off the rails. This is <laughs> yeah. the this is the I'm crowning look, achievement. Dave, look, Dave is very frustrated right now. Right. Yeah, the internet sucks when it doesn't really, work. Look at my internet, Dave. Uh. I'm trying to show you that until, before you got mad. Whoa. I got five five stars right there. Oh, man. Yeah, now I'm at two stars. <sighs> All right. So, anyway, uh, chicken nuggets. Great. The person who doesn't need it has five stars. <laughs> I know. All right. Uh, now I'm at four. How now, dare you? <laughs> now I'm at four. No, 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 Dave. Don't you have one more story? Are you done? Oh, man. Are you done? All right. Bad food. <laughs> That was fast stories right. about fast food. That's fine. Burger That's King fine. is in the news oh. after going viral. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just skip that yeah. one. And let's get to some yeah. jank line. Let's get to some jank line. <laughs> wow. Oh my we need God. to mark this tape. Oh, Omar. We, need crazy. To mar- we need to mark. We need to have a new segment called "Going Off the Rails" on <laughs> Janky Town. Yeah. And. And this is it right here. Jesus. Yeah, let's get to some Jen calls and then, uh, yeah, we can wrap things I gotta up on say, this though, one. I got to say, technology is the m- fucking main crux of our shit. No, it absolutely. Really but it worked flawlessly yeah, for, is- for so long. <laughs> right. You know, we would have, you know, issues <laughs> here and there, but not, no serious issues compared to the last three or four weeks, you know? So, well, yeah, it's Three or four weeks, it's been awful. Yeah, yeah. So, but, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll get back. I'll, I'll figure things out. I think... I think it might be Spectrum, 855 dude. 855 Janky69 is the number. <laughs> Dave just wants to get through this. All right. All right. Here we go. First caller. What up, Dave? What up, Oh. Yeah. What up, bud? What up, Janky? Yeah. 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 Thank you, Love and you thank you so much for hooking up with the Manscaped. And uh, yeah, since we're talking about Manscaped, let's uh, Manscaped. get into the Manscaped. <laughs> yeah. Gring, 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 gring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we'll record that afterwards. Uh, all right, let's get back into the uh, jank line. Uh, if you want to call, operators are not standing by 24 7, 855 Janky 69. Hey, Janky Town, this is the Dirty Reverend again, calling about. Fucking Dave, the goddamn king of Mexico. Honestly, dude, you did good by yourself that day. I appreciate you. Thank you. And I want to say that homeowner Dave is a lot more tolerable, and I appreciate him a lot more than apartment Dave. You seem fucking happy almost. It's weird, man, but I like it. Keep it up. You're doing good. And as for your lawn, try watering it three times a week, 20 minutes a day. That's what we're doing at our house, and it's working out pretty good. Lawn's coming back. Give it a shot, dude. It's worth something, right? Later. Uh, all right, Dave. Yeah, that guy likes a homeowner, Dave. He didn't like apartment, Dave. And Dave, I saw a video that you started composting, <laughs> and I want to ask you about your grass. How dead is your yeah. grass? Yeah. How dead is your grass? How dead is your grass? Uh, my grass is is uh they got two spots. Hold on, I'm not finished. Does it look good or does it look like ass? Oh, there you go. That was worth the wait. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's frozen again. <laughs> he is. You know what? I think it might be on his end too. I think both of us are having ha- having issues here mm. because Muggs, you're a constant, and you hear me constantly, True. right? I'm not dropping out, right, Muggs? <laughs> no. Yeah. So, then, so it's a Dave issue, unfortunately. Dave's fucking it all up. Yeah. So so yeah that. Uh, but we'll 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 make do, right, Dave? Dave. So. Uh, oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> so all right. Can you hear me back? I, yeah. I, yes. Yes. We hear you. No, now we don't Okay, hear you. so my grass is green. There's a couple spots that, that, that turned... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> How about now? No, I hear you now. It's just a, a delay. There's a delay now. Oh, you dick. What? What am I doing? All right, well, I'll just put the answer in, and you could just... And then you could just add it to sure. the question sure. and do some editing and okay. the video. We'll just cut uh, yeah, off. Yeah, I'll feel yeah, like I'm going to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm at five stars. How the fuck are we lagging? Oh, you're back. You're back. There's no lag now. You're back. Uh, all right. Lon is great. It's uh, There was a couple of spots for a, mo- a moment. Grew back. Um, but I, 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 wa- I water it four times a week at like 15 minutes. So there you go. Okay. There you it's go. Great. All right. Mugs, you paying attention over here? Lon talk. You good? Fantastic. Anyways, <laughs> so chicken nuggets, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is your boy Rambo. Hey, uh, Dave, good job on that solo. Yep. Jakey Town, loved it, dude. Nice. I love you too, man. And also, fuck you, but I love you. <laughs> yeah. There's love and hate there, dude. Hey, uh, you guys ready? I get to- that a lot. You guys ready for a callback? Uh, yeah. Mo Hinder. <laughs> wow. Do you guys remember that? That, that was Mo Kevin Ender. and Bean. Like, was that? That was Psycho Mike would do that, right? Uh, well, no, it, it was, was a, a drop. It was a drop. It was a drop from uh, the Heroes TV show. Remember? Mo uh, and then Mike. <laughs> and maybe, that sounds like Mike. That sounds like Mike doing that. Maybe I don't know, play, but it was like play. Mo oh, It was uh. Hold on. It was uh. What's his name? Uh, the dude. Mento Miglia. Milo Ventimiglia. Yeah. Mo Hinder. Yeah, it was. That's what. Yeah, yeah, that was. Man, what a callback that was. We Bean used to play that all the time. That's funny. <laughs> Hi, this is Rachel. So I'm trying again because last call I had some um, technical difficulties. So I am calling on behalf of the Coven, and we know that you're not going to read this or hear this or whatever the fuck this is for months. Hey. Uh, yeah. Thanks for that. This is uh, Dr. Rachel Lipnicki. But. We are very hurt that mugs that you are not responding to our calls or attempts to hang out with you. And we wrote a letter to express our feelings and thoughts about it. And I just wanted to read that to you. So <clears throat> here we go. Oh, no. Dear mug, <laughs> we wrote you, but you still ain't calling. We left ourselves, our pagers, and our home phones at the bottom. <laughs> we sent two letters back in autumn. You must not have got them. There was probably a problem at the post office or something. Sometimes we scribble addresses too sloppy when we jot them. But anyways, fuck it. What's been up? Man, how's your daughter? So, yeah, we wrote that for you. And um, we hope oh that you will respond to us. And that you get around to returning our calls. Because we ain't mad. We just think it's fucked up that you don't answer fans. So, get on that shit, Mugs. Okay. Bye. All right, Stan, oh, calm down. Yo, hold on, that Stan. was well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Time out, oh. Rachel. That yeah. was yeah. that was yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. straight up yeah. served mugs on that. That was that that was great. But but wait, Omar, you know what that was from, right? The Eminem song, Stan. Okay, good. Just checking. Wow, right. Omar's not that old, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that no, because I thought. Okay, all right. I was just making sure. That's he doesn't like new cars. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Muggs is right. I'm not that much of a hip hop head for sure. <clears throat> I do answer fans, Rachel. Okay, when the Coven called me on those two weekends that you guys were all together covening, I was just very preoccupied. Duh, so the covening. Now <laughs> that you have gone and read me your letter on the jank line. If I let you down a third time, then you can truly yeah, say, I disrespect my fans. Okay, because well, I'm not going to I'm not, I'm not gonna be able that. to say that pretty soon, whenever they get together <laughs> next. So. Hey, Omar. I just wanted to see if you could get a message to Beer Mug. They gave Simba a penis in the live-action remake of The Lion King from 2019. Why did they do that? If you could just let Beer Mug know that they did that, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. What? Carry on. Yeah. My way yes. son. <laughs> what a dummy. I love that. Do you know who that was? I don't know who that was, but what the heck does that have to do with anything? And why is he directing this at you, Mug? Why is it to Beer Mug? Well, yeah. I can, I can answer his question. Oh. Because it was the live action version, and they wanted it to be as realistic as possible. It wasn't the animated version like we all know and love. However, I don't know why the fuck he asked me that. Okay, carry on. (laughs) Hi, this is Alex from Almani. Uh, I was listening to the podcast, and I heard Dave said that he was doing, I forgot what he was doing, but he said that he was listening to the new Eminem album, and uh, he never really said uh, what he thought about it, because, like, Eminem's my favorite rapper. I just wanted to think what you guys thought of him. All right, bye. 
How long ago was that, Dave? I remember you mentioning that, but that was a while ago, right? Uh, yeah, I don't even know which album it was. It wasn't Kamikaze, was it? Uh, I have no idea. I remember you saying that, but man, we really got to do a better job answering these calls or playing these calls because, man, this, <laughs> how old is this? All right. Uh, so what do you think of the Eminem album? I love Godzilla, though. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Some of them like this fast track. Woo. Okay. And then the one where he's talking, where he's the killer from Vegas. That was a creepy song. But uh, yeah, the, the album was good. So I'm mm-hmm. beginning to feel like. Oh, I shut the f- jabroni. <laughs> Michigan people suck. What the fuck, man? All the support you get from Michigan people like myself, and we suck. I can't I tell you one thing. Your Clippers or Lakers, especially the Lakers, have never beat the Detroit Pistons in the NBA Finals. That's never fucking happened. But Michigan people suck. I don't know what he's talking about. Man. Matter of fact, that fake Mitchell from the Covenant might be from Michigan. She sucks. I feel like there might be a spell that need to be cast on your ass. Jesus uh, Christ, Omar. So disappointed. <clears throat> By the way, I live in California now. This is Jim and Clovis. Yeah, because Michigan <laughs> sucks. Uh, <laughs> man. <laughs> from the, man, mitten people don't suck. Yes, we're mitten people. We're from the mitten state. I just want to vent all fucking day now. I'm so pissed. Michigan people suck. Ugh. Michigan people Fuck you. Suck. There's no such thing as an original California person. Well, maybe. But you're not it. Yeah, I'm from California. God. Oh, I'm from <laughs> human. So am I. Got beer mug rage. <laughs> Me three. <laughs> he was beer mug raging. <laughs> beer mug rage. He had beer mug rage. I love it. That's uh, a good band name. What does he mean? All right. What all right. Is he two things. About? Two Two, oh, you must have talked yeah, shit about he's talking Michigan, to, Omar. That's that's clearly uh, what happened. We were we were talking. Yeah, we were talking about <clears throat> to Rachel about Michigan because she's from Michigan. Uh, Rachel Lipnicki, Doctor Ra- Rachel uh-huh. Lipnicki, and uh, and uh, and I think you were going off on how Michigan people suck because she's from Michigan. Uh, and by the way, he went to Clovis. That's probably not much better than Michigan. It's all the garlicky <laughs> up there. You know what Clovis? I'm saying? So he probably yeah. Doesn't Clovis no, no, sound like such yeah, an old timey right? name? It does. Huh? Yeah. Hey, Clovis. I haven't been to Clovis. Oh, no, it's Gilroy. Gilroy is. Clovis is worse, I think. Gilroy's the Garlic City, right? By San Francisco? Mm -hmm. I I lost total interest in this part of the conversation. (laughs) Let's move on. This is Gentleman Clovis calling back just to (laughs) apologize for my last message, kind of. Uh, I feel like I was directing a lot of anger towards a group of people. When I should just be directing it towards Omar's dumbass. What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Michigan people still don't suck. Some do, just like everywhere else. Rachel. But that's what happens. People suck, just like you, Omar. Hey. I mean, you're a guy who wishes death upon Vin Scully. That's right. Fuck. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. I mean, he's right about well, that. Enjoy your uh, no fly list. Later. <laughs> 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 you know. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that was funny. That guy sucks. Nice. That guy sucks. Michigan people <laughs> suck. Uh, name, I don't agree. Name, name I don't one agree. good person from General Michigan. General Clovis. General Clovis and my cousin. And, <laughs> they suck. Um, uh, Kiss, the band. Oh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pizza? Uh, right. Pizza? I haven't had pizza. it. So I couldn't. Me. I'm not, Detroit style pizza is the best. All right. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. All right. We got one last uh, uh, call here. We'll wrap things up here because this, this is off the rails now. Says he puts the original message. Hey, and then he doubles it. Motherfucker, this is Rachel. Hey. Uh oh. Right. And you missing bananas. Hey, Tyler. It's a coven party. <laughs> We're having my cousin party. And Coven party part two. Uh huh. We fucking tried calling Mug twice. He said he would answer. That piece of shit said that he would talk to us. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't answered. And I don't know if you all recall, but last time. We talked about this shit. He said that he would be here, and he's obviously not. So. He claimed to be in Vegas, and then he fucking changed his yeah, story. So now he's got Evie. Right. He lied to us, basically. So he's got a pool here. Evie can come hang out in the pool. We got a fucking bag. Yeah, we got a balcony. We, we all got have... songs that slap. We got songs that slap. <laughs> That's a throwback to the Ralph report. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> we fucking almost had complimentary beers, but we found out that they haven't we done that in four years. years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh goddamn you! And we got enough snacks to to 
still mug belly for like five minutes. We have a lot yeah, so, of I mean, that, that says something. No, I mean, what is going on here? We got Pringles, we've got Lay's, we've got Russell. <laughs> we no, got it all. We got, and we got cat food too. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got fantasy cheese. I'm bottoms, upset. And Dean Dish, we're mm-hmm. frighteningly similar. Omar, if I, may, if I may. If I may. Hey, Muggs, uh, I think you're all good. You don't have to answer the phone when they call. <laughs> <laughs>